In this video, I'm uh, going to explain how to dynamically allocate memory in assembly language. But first, let's see why we need uh, this feature. So, in the previous video, I've uh, shown you a tree structure, and um, this was uh, defined here. And uh, let's see uh, what happens if we change uh, this uh, memory allocation here. So first I'm going to perform a clean, so we don't have uh, anything else here. This is just from some debugging I perform, so we don't need them. So let's build it with this uh, 10,000 uh, nodes uh, allocated here. So we get a file with uh, this size, so it has roughly 1.3 uh, megabytes. So um, let's try to add a zero here. So let's say we need 100,000 nodes. So I'm going to clean again and build it. And we see now this bumped to 13 uh, megabytes. Okay, so there's a K here, so it's 30 megabytes. So uh, when we pre-allocate memory in this way, uh, this actually gets stored in the executable, making it larger. So imagine if we need, uh, for example, four gigabytes of memory, uh, then we'll have our executable becoming uh, over four gigabytes. So we really don't need so instead, uh, we need a way to uh, allocate uh, memory dynamically. And I'm going to show you my implementation for uh, an allocate memory function, and we also need to free uh, the allocated memory. So uh, in this file here, I've created two procedures. Uh, one is uh, for allocating memory, and one for freeing the allocated memory. So uh, what uh, I'm doing here, uh, basically in uh, RDX, I'm specifying the requested memory size. And in RAX, uh, the function will return uh, the allocated memory address or an error code. And uh, we know it's an error code because it will be negative. So uh, first I'm uh, saving the registers which will be restored here. And the actual uh, function is pretty straightforward. You can see it here. So we set RDI to zero uh, because uh, we need the kernel to allocate this memory. In RSI, I'm setting the requested size. In RDX, I'm specifying that I want to both read and write to this uh, memory space. In R10, I'm specifying that I want this memory space to be uh, anonymous, so it's not uh, backed up by a file. Uh, and I want it to be private to my process, it's not uh, a shared memory space. Uh, I'm also specifying here that uh, we don't have a file descriptor because it's not associated with a file. And remember, I did previously a video about memory mapped files. We use the same syscall, but here we don't have a file. And uh, offset is zero. This would be offset in a file, but as I said, we don't have a file. And then I have here the syscall number, which is nine for memory mapping. And uh, I'm using syscall to execute the call uh, in the kernel. And the kernel will return the address in RACs or the error code, so we don't need to do anything else. Now for the free memory function, uh, we have uh, this uh, procedure here is even uh, simpler and smaller. So uh, we need uh, the allocated memory address uh, in RACs. Uh, this will be uh, the one returned by the previous uh, function, or uh, it can be a memory mapped file. Uh, and in RDX, the size for the allocated memory. The output uh, will be again in RACs with uh, the status of 
a call. So uh, what I'm doing here, uh, I'm uh, setting in uh, RDI the memory address, in uh, RSI the size, and uh, RAX becomes 11, which is the M unmap uh, syscall. And I'm performing the syscall, and that's it. Uh, here uh, we have the constants uh, for prot read, prot write. Uh, I also copied here the constant for exec, but I'm not using it. Uh, also for uh, shared, private, and anonymous. So uh, now let's uh, take a look at our test program. So I have the same one uh, from here, but I'm replacing this. Uh, allocation with this dynamic allocation. So uh, what I'm doing here, I'm um, uh, requesting uh, 10,000 uh, nodes times uh, 17 plus uh, 16. Uh, this would be the requested memory size. And uh, maybe here uh, someone notices uh, there is a small mistake because this will be bytes and I would need quads, so let's say times eight. And I'm calling uh, allocate memory, um, and I'm testing here the results. So if uh, it's a negative number, uh, then we have a memory allocation error. Uh, and uh, if not, uh, I move in RDI the allocated memory. Uh, initially we had this in RDA we would save, uh, we would store the uh, memory as it was defined in the previous file, but now I'm uh, setting this memory that was allocated. In RBX uh, the requested size, which is the allocated size, uh, and uh, I'm setting uh, these uh, values within the structure. Why? Because uh, initially uh, we had this uh, 16 here. So I'm setting it here. Uh, and um, the rest is uh, identical to the previous uh, video where uh, I'm adding uh, words to the tree structure. So uh, if you don't know what a tree is, uh, you should watch the previous video where I explain it quite well. Uh, and then I perform some lookups. And finally, uh, I'm also uh, freeing the memory. So I'm moving into RAX, the uh, pointer to the memory, RDX already contains the memory size, and I'm calling uh, free memory. And again, I'm performing a test here. Uh, and uh, in case there is an error, uh, I have here uh, some very simple code that uh, displays a message, and the messages are defined here. So let's uh, compile this, and let's execute it. And uh, we actually uh, get the same results uh, from the previous video as expected, and uh, this uh, worked very well. And uh, You can see the size of the file with uh, the dynamic memory allocation. It's uh, 13 uh, kilobytes uh, compared to this one, uh, 13 megabytes. Uh, so uh, th there is still a difference because here uh, we had it compiled with 100. Uh, if we compile it with uh, 10,000, uh, there was this size. But anyway, uh, this is uh, the better approach, and we do not uh, unnecessarily increase the size of the file. So I hope you found this uh, interesting. Uh, so if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to be notified of the next videos. See you next time. Bye.